हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वॉट डू मीन बाई साइकोलॉजी दैट वी ऑल नो साइकोलॉजी इज द होल सोल स्टडी अबाउट माइंड एंड सोल नाउ वॉट इज वेरिएशन द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ क्वालिटेटिव डिफरेंसेज इन फॉर्म स्ट्रक्चर बिहेवियर एंड फिजियोलॉजी एमोंग द इंडिविजुअल ऑफ अ पॉपुलेशन वेदर ड्यू टू हेरिडिटी और टू एनवायरमेंट बोथ artificial selection and mm-hmm. natural selection operate on variations among organisms but only genetic variation is transmitted to offspring now we are going to start our chapter that is variation is a fact of nature individuals vary in their physical and psychological characteristics that we already know we all individual are differently changed from each and every one people differ from each other in their ability to understand complex ideas adapt to environment that we already know because all individual are not equally here in the environment our culture how we are gathering how the people are acting with each other in all the areas they are totally different individual differences in human functioning it refers to distinctiveness and variations means people characteristic and behavior patterns the situationist perspective views human behavior as resulting from interaction external and internal factors what is an assessment that we already know whenever we are learning there will be a assessment how we are going to get the assessment in your school in all the areas everywhere the assessment is there so we have to see how the assessment is going on it refers to the measurement of psychological attributes of individuals and their evaluation often using multiple methods in term of certain standards of comparison students you have seen in your school also there is a part of assessment how you are learning how you are good how you are going to get the good marks or in other criteria too everywhere assessment is very much urgent so here it can gives a two types one is formal assessment and another is informal assessment one is formal assessment it is a objective standardized and organized we can see formal assessment how we are getting it it may be objective it may be as standardized and it organized and wherever informal assessment it is a open to subjective interpretation that we know in this two criteria we can take an assessment intelligence what do you mean by intelligence we can see in today's nature everywhere the students are good the human are good in some or other criteria they are good in their aptitude they are good in their knowledge they are good in their skill they are good in every other areas so intelligence may be categorized with so many facts here intelligence it is a global capacity to understand the world think rationally and use available resources effectively when faced with challenges what are the challenges we face whenever we are going to do any type of work any type of physical or mental things that time the challenges is occur and that time only the intelligence can be work here aptitude it refers to an individual underlying potential for acquiring skill that we know what is aptitude so nowadays in every skill you can see the aptitude test is there so aptitude the people should be very perfect in this test that time only we can know how the people are acquiring and gaining the knowledge aptitude test they are used to predict what an individual will be able to do if given proper environment and training so aptitude test why they are taking today you can see in the banking exam or in any any type of competitive exam the aptitude skill can be tested why because they have to predict the in individual as in the proper environment and the training given and how the people are surviving and how the people are showing their activeness here we can take 
interest interest we know if we are not interested in any other work we cannot able to do suppose you can take the example of cooking you can take the example of reading you can take the example of writing you can take the example of anything activities it is an individual preferences for engaging in one or more specific activities relates to other correct it is and personality personality it refers to a relatively enduring characteristic of a person that make her or him distinct from other definitely because we all are human being we have our own personality here we cannot see with the same personality other people are also staying because personality is something that makes a man perfect that means we all are having different different personality personality test try to assess an individual unique characteristic example whether one is dominant or submissive outgoing or withdrawn moody or emotionally so students you can categorize this that is a personality test is it will be a dominant or submissive it is a outgoing or withdrawn or it will be a moody or emotionally so everything will come in the personality yes definitely if the person will be a very good or the very smart can be able to assess all type of environment that personality may be a very strong those who survive the environment very gently that may be strong and some are very submissive some are very panic some are some other things so it can be totally vary values. with the personality students you know values it is the process by which people give moral values to each other explicit values education associated with those different pedagogies methods or programs that teacher or educator use in order to create learning experience so they are enduring beliefs about an ideal mode of behavior psychological test it is an objective and standardized measure of an individual's mental or behavioral characteristic that means psychological test how we are going to do the mind soul test then it is an objective and standardized measure of an individual's mental and behavioral characteristic students we know that psychology is the study of mind and soul so we can read about the mental strategy and as well as the behavior how the individual is doing what are his behavior either he is talking good or something is going wrong everything we can take in the psychological test interview it involves seeking information from a person on one to one basis that means definitely if we will take an interview we can come to know the person is in which standard and how his thinking is what power he is seeking what are the criteria everything we can come in the time of interview case study it is a most important it is an depth study of an individual in terms of her his psychological attributes psychological history in the context of her his psychological and physical environment case study is very much important because what the case is suppose we are going to the hospital the first thing is coming to case study that means what the doctor is doing same thing what psychologist will do he will see the patient what are the problem the patient is facing he has to read everything each and all aspect of the patient then only he can make one report here we can come in the part of observation it involves employing systematic organized and objective procedures to record behavioral phenomena occurring naturally in real time that means we have to observe what the problem is and when it occurs what the problem he is facing and what are the observation is coming suppose somebody is having some problem in the day time we can see sometime in the night time or somewhere in else we don't know actually what is the real time naturally that means naturally when it comes we have to observe that self report it is a method in which a person provide factual information about herself himself or opinions belief etc the psychometric approach consider intelligence as an aggregate of abilities correct all abilities we have to aggregate for the intelligence 
It expresses the individual performance in terms of a single index of cognitive abilities. You know what is cognitive abilities? That is a mental skill. The information processing approach describes the process people use in intellectual reasoning and problem solving. The major focus of this approach is how an intelligent person acts. Correct the information processing approach. We have to get the process how the person is doing and what information we are doing because we have to get all the data and then only we can see what the result is coming. So we can take an example of the scientist Alfred Bennett proposed a uni or one factor theory of intelligence is his most, most important and Charles Spearman proposed a two factor theory of intelligence employing a statistical method called factor analysis and Louis Thurston proposed the theory of primary mental abilities. It states that intelligence consists of a seven primary abilities, each of which is relatively independent of the other. And here we can see Alfred Binet is a most important one. Another is we can see Arthur Jensen proposed a hierarchical model of intelligence consisting of abilities operating at two levels called level 1 and level 2. J.P. Gulford proposed a structure of intellectual model which classifies intellectual traits among three dimensions operations, contents and products. Operation, these are what the respondent does. These include cognition memory, recording, memory retention, divergent production, convergent production and evaluations. And content, it refers to the nature of materials and information on which intellect operations are performed. Till here, I am explaining today. If you want to know about the psychological test of psychologist Binet, please wait for my next video. Till that, if you have not subscribed then, please click the like button, subscribe and press the notification icon.